part 1 of this lecture, we covered the various intermolecular forces of attractions that exist between various states of matter. And in this part, we will cover the van der Waals forces that exist between the gaseous system and how the ideal gas system is does not exist in nature and there is a real gas that obeys various equation of state and one being van der Waals equation of state. So hello dear students, I am Dr. Upasna and we will be covering the equation of states for real gases, one being van der Waals equation of state and how the various van der Waals constants have significance and how they are uh, implemented in real systems. So to know more about this topic, you can refer to the book by S. Chan Publishing, the link of which is given in the description box. Before beginning the real gas, one should know what is an ideal gas. For this, empirically, Boyles, Charles, Daltons, Avogadro's, these were the scientists that carried out experimental uh, analysis on gases and predicted empirically that the pressure of the gas is inversely proportional to volume. So Boyle's law states that the pressure of the gas is inversely proportional to volume or the volume of a gas PV is equal to constant. This is the first observation or we can say that uh, these are the experiments done on gases. The second being the Charles law which says that volume of a gas is directly proportional to temperature or uh, we say that uh, V by T is a constant is a constant. So V1 by T1 is equal to V2 by T2. Another is your Avogadro's law which says that volume is directly related to the amount of the substance or the number of moles of gaseous species. More the number of moles, more will be the volume covered by that gaseous species. So combining all these empirical laws, we get the equation of state which is called PV equal to nRT based on the experimental observations. Uh, on removing the proportionality, we get R as a constant which is called universal gas constant and its value in atmos liters atmosphere per mole per Kelvin is given as this and mainly in SI unit we use 8.314 joules per Kelvin per mole. So uh, this if all the gases would have obeyed ideal gas equation then our lives would have been very simple. But this does not happen. This equation is valid only under certain condition and what happens if those conditions are not uh, followed. Let us see. So uh, it is seen that in a kinetic molecular uh, theory that the gases were assumed to be spherical balls, hard balls, hard spheres and it is assumed that there is no forces of attraction between the gaseous species, right? Uh, so this was the major assumptions which were uh, taken in kinetic theory of gases which were later on proved to be wrong. So the one assumption that the gases do not occupy a particular volume in comparison to the volume of the space container and the second assumption that molecules do not interact with one another. These two assumptions were proved to be wrong. So according to kinetic the molecular theory of gases, uh, the molecules, gases consist of large number of molecules. The volume of all the molecules is negligibly, is negligible. So this is a key word and in comparison to the total volume of the gas and there are no attractive or repulsive forces existing between the systems. Uh, and on solving, it is found that kinetic energy of the molecule is proportional to the absolute temperature. All the gases deviate from the ideal behavior under certain condition. Only at very low pressure and very high temperature, the gases were found to obey ideal gas law equation. When we apply high pressure or when we decrease the temperature of the system, what happens is molecules try to come closer and closer to one another and at one stage, you know, gases were found to liquefy. That means there should be certain forces of attractions that are existing between the molecules which kinetic theory of gases ignored. 
so these two were the were the major reasons for the other equations of states to come into existence how it was uh, discovered you know when we plot a graph between this is one factor called compressibility factor pvm ideal is the pressure and volume of the ideal gas system ideal gas system and this is the pressure and volume of real gas system ideally these two should have been same if the gas is obeying ideal gas equation that means z is equal to 1 for an ideal gas but it is found that experimentally if you plot a graph of compressibility factor versus pressure uh, all the gases all the gases do not follow this trend either some gas like hydrogen or helium they have z greater than 1 some gases have z lesser than 1 and then uh, at certain pressure they crosses this ideal gas uh, line and then they are uh, having z greater than 1 so gr z greater than 1 z less than 1 leads to the conclusion that real gases are existing in the system and to explain the real gas behavior we have to address two problems that is the molecules occupy space the molecules interact with one another so the chemist which came into the uh, re rescue was the van der waal it is the first you know one of the kind of equation of state there are many but let us focus on van der waal's equation of state so according to van der waal since the gas can be liquefied it states that when you are liquefying something and after liquefaction it is it is uh, having certain volume okay you know some gaseous system has been liquefied and it is occupying 1 ml that means this 1 ml indicates that originally gaseous molecule must have uh, uh, contained or must have had certain volume so because of that he proposed that you the assumption that the molecules are not obeying not having any volume was wrong second as they are liquefying we have to uh, say that there is existing certain molecular forces of attraction and therefore therefore two correction terms one is volume correction which says that there the space occupied okay i'll just explain volume correction is what the ideal gas volume v is the volume of this entire space which the gaseous molecule are you know taking to move around so this is the volume of the container which we use in the ideal gas equation but now if i am saying my this volume molecule is occupying certain volume this molecule is occupying certain volume that means the volume uh required by the gaseous system to move would be somewhat less than the original volume okay that means i have to subtract something from this volume to have that volume free volume to have free volume in which the gaseous molecule can move if i am the gaseous molecule i have occupied certain volume nobody can uh, you know interpass me or can go uh, from me right so that means i have occupied certain volume so the remaining volume will be called as the free volume so that is how we have to subtract that is how we have to subtract something and this is your this is the equation that your corrected volume would be vm ideal minus vm vm real minus nb now what is nb b is defined as the excluded volume and excluded volume is also called co volume which is given by this formula it is calculated by considering it is calculated by considering the two spheres right and uh, the r is the radius of that sphere and how much is the excluded volume this is the excluded volume of the uh, of the uh, system and hence we have found out na is the avogadro's number and 4 by 3 pi r cube is the volume of that sphere
where r is the radius of the sphere pressure correction term so pressure correction terms comes uh, due to the fact that the, the molecule is no longer moving freely and is striking the wall it is being dragged by another molecule due to the force of attraction so the pressure exerted by the real gas would be somewhat less than the original pressure that we would have expected in the ideal gas equation so to make it equal to the ideal gas equation we have the two things on which it depends it depends upon the number density n by v that is number of molecules present in the system and because uh, there are two molecules which are uh, striking or which are required for the collision we take the square of this number density and hence we have this pressure plus a n square by v square into v minus n b equal to n r t in other words we have just substituted in the ideal gas equation pv equal to n r t so this is my ideal pressure this is my ideal volume so for real gas my pressure is p real plus that factor which is lost because of the intermolecular forces of attraction and v real minus the n b that means these are these are equivalent to my p ideal that is how we can substitute in the ideal gas equation and we can write down this as the van der waals equation of state so in the van der waals equation of states we get a and b a and b are the van der waals constants which are characteristic property of a gas it is dependent on the nature of the gas and a depends on size as well as on the polarity because it reflects the forces of attractions that play in a system and b represents size so larger the size of the molecule larger will be the value of b okay and these are as i said characteristic property of a gas now one question for all of you that if i have two gases and if i give you the value of a and b these are the values which gas will be easily liquefiable the gas which has higher value of a will be easily liquefiable and similarly which gas will have higher molecular size the gaseous system where b is large will have higher molecular size so in part 2 of this topic we have covered the equation of state for real gas system and we mainly focused on the van der waals equation of state how that equation of state came into existence and what are van der waals constants to know more about this topic you can refer to the book by s chan publishing the link of which is given in the description box If you find this video interesting please like share and subscribe this channel also press the bell icon for future updates without the permission of the copyright holder